Welcome to the Bible in Slow Intermediate English. Today's reading is Genesis chapter 50. Joseph fell on his father's face, wept on him, and kissed him. Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father, and the physicians embalmed Israel. Forty days were used for him, for that is how many days it takes to embalm. The Egyptians wept for Israel for seventy days. When the days of weeping for him were past, Joseph spoke to Pharaoh's staff, saying, If now I have found favor in your eyes, Please speak in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Behold, I am dying. Bury me in my grave, which I have dug for myself in the land of Canaan. Now, therefore, please let me go up and bury my father, and I will come again. Pharaoh said, Go up and bury your father, just like he made you swear. Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, all the elders of the land of Egypt, all the house of Joseph, his brothers, and his father's house. Only their little ones, their flocks, and their herds they left in the land of Goshen. Both chariots and horsemen went up with him. It was a very great company. They came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, and there they lamented with a very great and severe lamentation. He mourned for his father seven days. When the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atad, they said, This is a grievous mourning by the Egyptians. Therefore, its name was called Abel Mizraim, which is beyond the Jordan. His sons did to him just as he commanded them, for his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which Abraham bought with the field as a possession for a burial site from Ephron the Hittite near Mamre. Joseph returned into Egypt he and his brothers, and all that went up with him to bury his father, after he had buried his father. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, It may be that Joseph will hate us and will fully pay us back for all the evil which we did to him. They sent a message to Joseph, saying, Your father commanded before he died, saying, You shall tell Joseph, Now please forgive the disobedience of your brothers and their sin, because they did evil to you. Now please forgive the disobedience of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. His brothers also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are your servants. Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid, for am I in the place of God? As for you, you meant evil against me. But God meant it for good, to save many people alive, as is happening today. 
Now, therefore, don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your little ones. He comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Joseph lived in Egypt, he and his father's house. Joseph lived 110 years. Joseph saw Ephraim's children to the third generation. The children also of Machir, the son of Manasseh, were born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, I am dying, but God will surely visit you and bring you up out of this land to the land which he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Joseph took an oath from the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here. So Joseph died, being 110 years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. This is the end of Genesis chapter 50. Tap on See More in the description below to find our website and other links. And if you uh, enjoyed this podcast, please like us and subscribe. Thank you for listening to the Bible in Slow Intermediate English. Hi, Hi. good morning.